Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we're going to be talking about probably the most popular question that has ever been has ever been asked about Game of Thrones and that is who will end up sitting on the Iron Throne. Now I wanted to make this video to sort of hype people up for the ending. I know everyone seems depressed and sad about the writers, how they're taking the show, but listen, our favorite show is coming to an end and uh, I just want to bring hype. Quickly before I get into my thoughts of each character and if they're going to end up on the throne or not, I want to ask you, who do you think will end up on the Iron Throne and why and I made this video because there's only two episodes left and we're gonna get really close to see who ends up on the Iron Throne now we could see it at the end of the next episode but we will definitely see it in the ending episode okay just before I start I just want to say that this is one of the biggest shows and it's coming to an end they won't put a side character th that ends up winning the Game of Thrones I like like Gendry Tormund I'm just using Tormund as an example because he's sort of like a side character, but he's also like a mainish character. You know what I mean. If they're going to end up putting someone in the throne, it's going to have to be a huge main mega character so it could satisfy the most people. Okay, I'm going to be talking about like four characters who I think will end up on the throne and I'm going to talk about what I honestly think is going to happen at the very end. So yeah, uh, let's get started. Number one is Jon. I think Jon will probably end up on the, or Aegon Targaryen actually, uh, he will end up on the Iron Throne. There's three reasons. I think number one, he's gonna kill Danny after she's killed hundreds of innocent, thousands of innocent people in King's Landing. If she does go mad, I don't know the, the way the show's taking it, but the way the show is taking it, I feel like yeah, she is gonna turn mad, and uh, John will be eventually the one to put an end to her. And obviously, once she's gone, everyone's gonna hail John as their new king, and he's gonna be in the throne. Number two thing that I see John doing is he will burn the throne and go back to the north and declare each part of the seven kingdoms independent. Now this is the main thing I was going to talk about in the end of the video, but let's, let's save it for later. And number three, the way I see the Game of Thrones story is all about John. Since the beginning, I think it was about John, and it's gonna end with John. So that's another reason why I think John will eventually end up on the Iron Throne, if he even does want it, because he's a hundred percent he's gonna have the choice to pick. Because um, I don't think Danny will be around to compete with him. All right, let's move on to Sansa and maybe even Tyrion. I'm gonna do these two together. Okay, so for Sansa, I have um, there was a bit of foreshadowing when Sansa and Danny are talking. And Danny says, "In all the Seven Kingdoms, men will live without fear and." under the rightful queen and then the shot pants to Sansa so that is just a little tad foreshadowing right there if you ask me and another way I see this happening is all the main characters die the people with the claim to the throne die then I think they're gonna sort of form a vote and they're gonna pick Sansa as their new queen because obviously she has the love of the north and I think that's just if if all these main characters don't get it, then I think the next up in line will be Sansa because I, I, I feel like they're sort of building her up to do this. Also, Arya said that she was the smartest person she's ever known. And I think they said that for a reason, potentially. And the final thing is that she is a student of Littlefinger, the the, the monster, the, the, one of the smartest people in Game of Thrones, or was the smartest people in Game of Thrones. But she's a student of Littlefinger. She's going to get her way to the top one way or another. And I think uh, I think we could see Sansa in the Iron Throne. Let me know what you guys think. And quickly, I just want to talk about, because I think th if th this is going to be together, I think Tari and Sansa could potentially rule. So I want to talk to Tyrion. I'm not going to make like a whole thing about it, but I'm just going to quickly talk about him. I think Sansa and Tyrion are up to something. When Sansa tells uh, about Jon's true heritage, we don't get to see that in the, in the actual show, but you can tell... That she's gonna say because she says what if someone else rules out of what i remember out of every time they've talked they never really showed it they're trying to make this seem like a little mysterious thing that's happening between Sansa and Tyrion, and i honestly think they could rule and how ironic would it be that the same man that everyone everyone has made fun of the same man whose own father wanted to disown him is going to end up being king can you imagine the dwarf being king i could possibly see this guys Okay, and let's move on. Next up, we have Gendry. And now I think Gendry, like I said in the beginning, I don't think side characters will end up on the throne, but who knows what the Game of Thrones writers are up to. But to be honest, he does have the strongest claim to the throne. And well, I mean, we'll see how this plays out. And I think at the end, if everyone does somehow die and he's the only one left and he has a true claim, then I think he will decline it and he's going to stay Lord of Storm's End. I don't, I don't, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't see Gendry ruling the Seven Kingdoms. That would just be unsatisfying if that does end up happening. 
but you never know again game of thrones writer a little bit wonky and uh, we'll see what happens now what you probably all been waiting for is danny my thoughts on danny listen guys i know it's pretty obvious at this point but i don't think danny will make it to the end of the episode. i think danny will die and she there's no way she lives i don't see this at all at this point, the show, the basically, the way the show is showing uh, Danny is that she's very eager. She wants to rule. She's she's sort of transforming into this mean, like just, I I want to rule. I want to rule. I want to rule. Like, and if you ever watch Game of Thrones, that is not how you get up to the top. That is not how you get the throne. I don't think she's gonna live. I think she will 100% die. The final thing I want to talk about is that Game of Thrones is ending, so the throne must end too. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that the throne will get destroyed. I don't know by who. John can end up being being the last survivor and he could just decide to burn it or get rid of it and I don't know how it will happen obviously but I do think the throne will no longer exist at the end and I think each of the seven kingdoms will declare independence that is probably the strongest theory or solid possible ending that I choose that, that, that I think it's gonna happen I don't think anyone's gonna rule at the end I don't think the show's gonna want to give anyone satisfaction and I do 100% see the throne being destroyed and declaring independence for the seven kingdoms everyone going back to where they belong and it's happily ever after ending but you don't know at the end of the day it is Game of Thrones it's meant to shock you twisted turns everything is happening Alright guys, that has been the video. Thank you guys for much for watching. Again, let me know who you think will end up on the Iron Throne and why. If you've made it to the end, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.